hello, um, devotional time. We are doing Matthew uh, 5 and 14 and 15. 5, 14, and 15 in Matthew. Um, I'm trying to use my back camera to film, so sorry if the proportions are weird or whatever. Because... Um, it's just against the box that I can't really see good how the framing is. Um, but let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this uh, Bible study devotional. Um, I just pray, God, that you would please um, bless everyone that hears this, God. I pray that they would, Lord Jesus, or whoever's watching right now, would get this into their heart and um, just let you work on them through this word in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And she knows. Sorry. I'm like, just saying, I'm not picking my nose. I'm just aging. Probably gonna be comments about that. Anyway, probably not necessarily actually, cause not many watch my videos. Okay. Joking. People watch my videos. That's why I do it. I hope you guys are blessed seriously. But, um, Matthew five and four, no five and 14 and 15. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light to all, unto all that are in the house. A couple things I want to point out. Um, I got this first, the idea from an actual devotional book I've been doing. I don't get my ideas usually from that, but this just stuck out to me in a point made that Part of the point, yes, was in the devotional, and part of it wasn't, and I got the point before I even read the actual devotional part. I just read the scripture. It says, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. In verse 14, we're going to focus on cannot be hid. If you are like, not just if you're like the rest of the world, but if you're also like the other churches out there, if you, especially if you know that they don't preach the full truth, okay, I do believe a lot of churches have partial truth, but they don't have all the full truth. And if we um, start compromising things that we know to be true because of things in the Bible and God has called us to do, um, and we start compromising or um, holding back those things, then we are hiding ourselves. And we if you, it says a city that is set on a hill cannot be ruined. We need to be a city set on a hill, which is, means we let our light shine in every single way. We don't hold back the spirit of God moving on us or, or doing different things, getting excited about God, speaking in tongues, or, um, or just dressing holy. And I believe all of that, like dressing holy, um, you know, you have to get for yourself. You have to study your Bible. You have to um, see what God wants of you. Um, but, and also the speaking in tongues again, just in case you're not episode Pentecostal and you're watching this. Um, we believe that there's, you know, infilling of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. It's not about the gift of tongues, which is a separate thing. But this is not about that. This is not about that right now. This is about cannot be hit and it says neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but put it on a candlestick so it's not about just getting that spirit moving it's not about just lighting that candle it's about lighting the candle and setting it on a specific place to burn and keep burning so that not just for the purpose of the candle being lit and getting, you know, the fire getting fed and, and the candle burning. It's not for the purpose of the candle. It's for the purpose of shining on the other people. It says, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So let yourself be a candle that gets lit with the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of God, of the Spirit of God, and let it keep burning. Set it on Keep it so much inside of you that you are set on a candlestick, not just a candle that starts burning and then the wax is melting and you don't want to get it all over and you have to put it out real quick. But it's set on a candlestick so it can sit there and burn and give that light to all that are around you. I hope you got something from this. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. 
for this word. I just pray, God, that someone would get something from this. I pray, God, Lord Jesus, let's let the people that are watching, that watch this, continue to pray about this, Lord Jesus. I pray that these people would say a prayer about this for themselves, Lord God. That, that each one of us, God, speak to me right now, God. Speak to them right now. Jesus, what you want them to work on according to this principle that we have talked about, Lord Jesus, and help us to work on that, Lord Jesus, to get better, to push past our flesh. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen. Just want to say, if you um, like the videos, if you, if you like the other videos I do in the devotionals, subscribe. Um, like the video so that it might get more popular uh, to show other people and become a blessing to other people. Comment if please, if you have any other thoughts or ideas, anything to add, please leave a comment. Um, or just if you if you enjoyed it, it encourages me to keep going um, because I'll I want to just do this so that people might be blessed by it and might grow in God by it. Um, and God has definitely been the one that's pushed me to do this. You know, I wouldn't do it over myself. And um, what else? If you want to share it with your friends, but they you don't think they would watch the whole thing, I usually make a shorter version on Instagram. Link in the bio um, for my Instagram. So I make a shorter version of these on Instagram if you want to send it to someone and you don't think they're going to watch the whole long video or listen to the whole long thing. And, uh, you know, like a reel. What else? I think that's it. Hopefully that's it. Oh, yeah. If you want to be notified of all the videos, that uh, other videos that I post, put on the notifications because then it will actually notify you every time I post. In Jesus' name, guys, peace and victory. Go with God and goodbye.